Hello, random viewers. Here's my old Union bicycle again. Although it is not that old, judging by the uh, relative modern taillight. Let's close this door. Because there is a bit of a draft coming from the other room. Although we're having some great weather right now. A big change from the snow blizzard we had uh, a couple of weeks ago. So last month I straightened the frame and welded the uh, luggage rack over here. I also replaced the uh, pedals. Although this one seems to be stuck. But slowly the bicycle is uh, becoming unrideable. And I'm not talking about the uh, flat tire. It basically is in a uh, desperate need for a major overhaul. Hopefully I can source all of the components needed because this country is still in a lockdown, which is getting uh, ridiculous and annoying. Um, well, let's go outside so I can rinse off the dirt that I picked up over the last month. It's actually warmer outside than it is inside the barn. I just checked and the uh, concrete floor in here is only uh, 7 degrees. So it's a nice and sunny winter day. And I believe this is the uh, warmest February day we ever had. <laughs> well, later I will clean the bicycle a bit more thoroughly, but first I'm going for a tea. So after playing with the water a bit, just like uh, it is summer, I think the bike is uh, now clean enough, so I will let it uh, dry and later I will continue the project. The damp hose developed a uh, leak, so now my overalls are soaked. So the sun has gone down and the bicycle dried up uh, nicely, although you might still need a tetanus shot to work on this thing. So the old bike needs some work to get it through the next 30 years in its life and that way it uh, will probably outlast me. Um, I need to fix the bottom bracket because it has a lot of play at the moment. And the same is true for the uh, rear wheel hub. It could also use some new steel balls. And after that I should also replace the uh, chain guard because it looks terrible. And while I'm at it, I should also replace the chain. I'm going to start with the uh, bottom bracket. I think uh, removing these cutter pins will probably be the most difficult part of the job. So hopefully it uh, won't break off. Well, that was easy. And now the whaling with a hammer can start. Hopefully I get lucky. I'll remove the washer because I cannot really see if the pin moved. Yes, there it goes. And you're not supposed to reuse these, and I believe I have a spare set. I need a drift. Now hopefully I will also be uh, just as lucky trying to remove the uh, crank arm. It is loose. 
and there it comes. And now I need to turn the bicycle so I can work on the other side. So we're off to a good start and hopefully my luck will continue. Look at that, that's a ball bearing, that must have come from the bottom bracket. Here, a rebuild is uh, well due. I think I got it. You can hear the chickens, they're always messing with my recordings. So I was looking for a screwdriver, but a claw hammer might also work. Uh, it's probably not a good idea, because I will uh, end up bending the uh, gear. So, we need a new approach. The gear is not solid, so... I'll tear away the team guard because it's crap anyway. And I'm not really strong enough. This is the perfect moment to start using my pocket knife, which is terribly dull by the way. Finally, it was kind of hard to hold the drift with just my fingers. So next I'm going to remove the, uh, the rest of the chain guard and then uh, I will tear apart the rear hub or the rear wheel. I think I should probably flip the bicycle around. So first I need to twist the bell out of my way, otherwise the bicycle cannot stand upside down. So next I'm going to loosen up the wheel nuts, and the chain tensioners and the uh, brake reaction arm. And then I can remove the wheel and the chain guard. And this bracket that holds the chain guard. I don't have to remove them completely. I made my own brake reaction bracket a while ago. And of course I had to make an uh, elaborate construction using three nuts. So now it is costing me a lot more time to remove it. Come on, I'll bend it out of the way. Sounds like there's a chopper overhead. Annoying. Fly boys.
they should go in lockdown. Save the fucking environment. So, and now the wheel should be free. Um, yeah. A dirty chain and still caught behind the frame so I will need my angle grinder best tool ever and these parts can go in the uh, recycler. It is doubtful that I will ever need these brackets again. But if needed, I can take them out of the recycle drone. With a wheel missing and uh, no panels, this bicycle is slowly turning into a naked bike. I think I will try and remove the uh, bottom bracket next. Cleaning off years of gunk. And a tab is folded over on this side to keep it from uh, coming loose. I'm going to mistreat a uh, screwdriver for that. Can uh, somebody please hold the bicycle while I uh, tab the hammer? Maybe I should use a chisel, and a cheap chisel, perfect for jobs like these. That's a nasty tab. You know, to make this job complete, let's also try a drift. And also the big drift. Okay, that's probably good enough. Let's see if my uh, tool fits. Oh, I drifted out of screen. Let's see. If I'm not mistaken, this side is the uh, right side of the bicycle. But since the bicycle is upside down, it now is the uh, left side. But it should have a right hand thread. Let's see if I can hammer it loose. So I flipped the bicycle around because I could not get this side of the bottom bracket loose. So I'm going to try the other side. And I believe this ring needs to come down and I don't have the proper tool for this so I'm using a drift I'm starting to doubt myself maybe it should spin the other way well more power and I'm hoping I'm right First the bigger hammer. This part is being uh, misformed and it is probably locking itself up. 
because of uh, my hammering. It felt like it moved, and it probably did move, although it is peening over quite a bit. I should probably grind away uh, a little bit of that uh, material that got peened over. I think this is the proper tool for this job, but... This hook here is so shallow, I'm not sure if this is going to work. Um, I'm going to drop the bicycle on its side, maybe that's easier. So after battling this uh, bottom bracket for a while, giving it uh, all I got and that's not a lot but it finally came loose I'm not sure if it uh, will be reusable because it looks pretty beat up so this was only the outer locking ring fortunately the inner part is uh, is pretty loose so that uh, should come out uh, very easy I guess now I will continue my struggle on the other side. But first a uh, tea break. The uh, sides on here are uh, worn. It is uh, probably undoable, so I'm going to grind a notch in here and then I will try to hammer it loose using my drift. I don't think this bottom bracket will be uh, reusable. It's time for a bit more hammering. This is going to be tough. So it's been a while since I was working on my old bicycle. I've been mostly spending my time burning shit. But I want to get this thing uh, rolling again, because my other bicycle is uh, starting to make uh, strange noises. Yeah, that's not sounding right. I think it's coming from the uh, rear wheel hub. God. This is not going to work. I'm just not strong enough and this tool is also a, a little bit damaged and this uh, well knot can you call it a knot? I don't know it's so shallow I tried my uh, big uh, crescent wrench but that also doesn't work you know what I'll try again for the film it uh, does give me more leverage but this thing might also be broken okay one final attempt That's not going to work. So the next plan of uh, action would be to weld something on here. And maybe then uh, I can get enough leverage. And if the weld is strong enough, I should be able to get this loose. Ah, 
that looks usual. So my plan is to weld this uh, nut onto here on uh, on two sides, and uh, then I can use this uh, big spanner to grab the nut, and then I can start uh, welding with a big hammer, and hopefully I can then uh, get things loose. Um, I might also uh, bore out this thread to give me a little bit more room so I can uh, wrap some tape on here to protect the axle. I don't think I will uh, ever reuse this but I might for uh, YouTube bragging rights. People sure do a lot more stupid things to get some attention. So I set up the nut in my old catgalave and uh, bored out the thread. Unfortunately I forgot to hit the uh, record button. Things like this uh, sometimes happen. So I guess you will have to imagine a uh, exciting lathe scene. Maybe next time. Well, let's take this uh, bad boy next door and then uh, I'll weld it to the bottom bracket. You see plenty of room for some protective electrical tape. The best kind of course. But first a little clean up. Even the uh, best electrical tape doesn't do very well with grease. So, a special build weld protective shield still fits. Now I'm going to grind away some of this groom, otherwise I cannot weld that stuff. That should be more than enough grinding. Next I need to uh, bring in the welder. I guess the welder has to stay in the room next door, but fortunately the cables are long enough. I'm ready to start welding, so I'm setting the camera to fully automatic. And that way it should dim when the uh, welding starts. So I got my glove and my welding helmet. Let's do this. Of course, I forgot to switch on the welder. That's always something. I should also switch on the gas. All right, take two. What's this? No power. Because I need to plug it in. Would have now. I would have noticed that if the uh, the fan inside the welder would still be working, but that broke a few years ago. Glove. Check. Helmet. Check. Let's do a take three. Oh, I need uh, an earth connection. Of course. That might work. You might have guessed that uh, I'm not doing a whole lot of welding. And of course, I switched up the uh, welder. 
It was on at the first attempt. It's on again. So, what's this? Take four or five. I lost count. Still no go. I'm getting worried. I inserted the wrong uh, power lead. It's going. Take five or six. I think I welded it to the frame. I'm not seeing a whole lot through this stupid welding helmet. So much battering. I think I will cut all of this out. It's probably terrible footage. Anyway. Hopefully that's enough. But I did a terrible job. <laughs> I'll show you. Honestly, doesn't that look uh, terrible? I would show you the other side, but there's no light. Anyway, I will uh, grind off the uh, spots that might be attached to the frame. And then I'll uh, start hammering. So I think that uh, blob of weld is attached to the frame. It is still very hot, so I'm going for a T first. And then I'll uh, start grinding. I need to uh, direct the sparks into a more camera friendly angle. Okay, I think it's hammer time. So here goes nothing. You know what? I'll turn the bicycle around so you guys can have a better look. The camera battery is almost empty. It feels it feels strange. Well, let's hit it a bit more. Jesus. I'm actually Twisting my spanner slightly shouldn't be a problem, it's still usable, but it ain't pretty. So I think I messed up, and this is actually left hand thread because it is the left side of the bicycle. 
Let's try this again. That feels a lot better. And we have a factory. Here it comes. And there it is. Let's have a closer look. Yeah. Left hand thread. It really messes with your mind. Especially on a bike that is upside down. It must be some sort of a black magic or voodoo. I don't know. I really messed up that welding job. But it doesn't matter. I got things done. And that counts for something. Maybe a million views. Not in a million years. I think we can be sure that this part is no longer usable. But I'll clean it up later and uh, inspect it uh, more thoroughly. You guys also want to have a look inside the uh, bottom bracket. So here's a peek inside the frame. And you can see the leftover ball bearings over there. And I think one of them must have gotten out through this uh, tube that goes to the saddle. Because I have no uh, other way of explaining how I ended up with a ball bearing in my hand when I uh, disassembled the chain guard. It's very strange. It must have happened uh, when I was uh, flipping over the bicycle at some point. Well, let's clean this thing and see if it is uh, still usable. So I think the, uh, the ball race on this side is uh, screwed up. But I know for sure when I uh, got all of the uh, dried up grease removed. There's a number stamped on here. UKA68. UK. Well, that's always better than French. It doesn't want to slip over the uh, electrical tape. So I will have to do a little bit more uh, grinding. I'll admit that this washer is uh, a total loss. And making a new one on the lathe is uh, probably impossible for me. Because how do you make a big uh, washer like this? That's so thin. Such a huge hole. How do you hold it? I have no idea. Let's grind a bit more. And now the other side. It took a lot longer than expected, but I finally managed to undo my awesome welding. It must have been quality work. So now I can remove the tape and I should be able to get inside this thing. Just like the rest of this project, removing this tape is a struggle. But I think I got it. The last bit is always the most difficult part. Okay. And now I will reveal the insides of the bottom bracket. And the goal here is to count the amount of ball bearings that I need to purchase. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, and one more in the cup. Eleven ball bearings. So I cleaned up the axle and uh, stuck it in the lathe so uh, we can have a better look. Uh, this is the side that I disassembled as last. And it is still okay-ish. Although it has uh, some wear on the ball races. The other side is completely fucked up. The ball bearings that were in here are completely black, brown, dry and rusty. 
the other ones were still silverish. And installing a new ball bearings in here probably won't uh, fix my problem. But it does uh, explain why the bicycle was uh, making all those weird noises. So here are both of the uh, ball races or cops, I'm not sure how to call them in English. This one still has uh, some grease in it and the other one completely dry and it's the same for the ball bearings. Um, I only managed to recover uh, nine of the ball bearings. So the other ones probably escaped at some point during the uh, disassembly. Yeah, there is no YouTube glory in this. So I will have to find a replacement bottom bracket. And I think that shouldn't be too hard because I don't think the uh, bicycle has some sort of exotic thread. And I might actually have a uh, replacement bottom bracket that fits if the uh, frame is more or less standard. Um, yeah, we're still in lockdown in this country, so so buying new parts from my local bike shop would be uh, probably impossible. They are forced to be closed and it is getting a bit annoying. I really hope that this uh, whole corona thing is uh, over at some point this year. Anyway, I think I'll uh, I'll stop this video here because it is getting way too long. Next time I'll uh, start working on the uh, rear wheel disassembly and I think that should still be uh, salvageable. So thanks for watching my little shit show and uh, bye for now. To be continued.